And let him on a chelly, Jeff Lizzie, to bowl for $39,000 and at the Brunswick Memorial World Open title. Sam Leto likes that right-hand lane, and that's where he's going to get to finish this match. And Leto averaging 237 on this pair of lanes, and he comes out firing with his strike on lane 23. Well, you know, he's below his uh, tour average on this pair. You know, he averaged 262 on this pair <laughs> yeah. for three games with a 300 game, and we can see why. Tell him to pick up the pace a little bit. Now, you're going to see a very talented young power player in Jeff Lizzie. Let's take a look at the size of this young man's right forearm. Ooh. And not what he was hoping for, but he shakes a fist. He'll take the Brooklyn. That was a bit of a shaky start. Five-step player holds the ball right here at waist high. We can see. Power and the cut wrist at the top and the long slide. Oh, she just turns to us. See how low he gets at the line? Good balance right there. Good balance. Some serious power generated at the bottom of that swing. A little more room with this shot. And, ooh, that'll get your attention, Ambleto. A flush hit on the left hand lane. Well, he made a comment to me in the interview before the interview started that, that the right lane was giving him a little trouble, but he liked the left. Yeah. Started bowling as soon as he could walk, he told you. And Leto comes right back. Just absolutely slashes the rack on lane 24. Dyson Master, huh? Wait a minute, is that Jeff Lizzie bowling or is that Jeff Lizzie sitting in? Oh. Are we seeing double here? I am. That's his twin brother. John looks on, a fine PBA player in his own right, and uh, I might add two minutes younger than Jeff. Boy, he's just a baby. He's the baby. Stand those two up, and you cannot tell them apart without a program. Ambleto with a lot of swing on the left hand lane, first errant shot. And he has a washout to deal with. Wow. A little chink in the armor there. It's like a lapse in concentration more than anything else. It me means a lot to both players. Wants to get it left of the head pin, drive it into. Here's where the head pin goes into the one. Or in to the ten, like that. <laughs> He was a little quicker at it than you were, Michael. Well, I've, I've just learned to play with this telestrator here. <laughs> <laughs> what a great shot. As it goes left of the head pin, it drives it into the tent, just I like mean, that. Is this guy focused, wired up? I mean, does he have a feel for what's happening out there, or what? I'm, I wonder if we take a blood test if he's human. Meanwhile, back to live action. Oh, a little adjustment, a little more speed, a little further left with the feet, and Jeff Lizzie comes out striking. That'll get up Little's attention. Are you kidding? He's only got his attention. He's got him by 13 pins. And working the score tonight for us, Hall of Famer Johnny Petraglia, who won this tournament back in 1974. 589 events on the PBA Tour. He's a long way behind... The man from the Windy City. All I can say is those people are all gluttons for punishment. <laughs> <laughs> a four-banger. Oh, four-pin went, nine pins stood. A powerful shot by Jeff Lizzie. Who is fired away. Plus, he seems to have a feel for both lanes now. That ball has three holes in it. For, has a hole for the pinky finger that he uses for spares on the right side, so it goes straighter. Double bouncer, spare up, and uh, before we get too far along in the title match, I'd like to tip my hat to a very good friend of mine, a man that I met in my first ever visit uh, to the World Open, Rick Barbera, who was general manager of the old bowling center they used to hold the tournament in, but Rick has moved up the road here to this beautiful brand new center, and Rick, thanks for everything, and I know all the pros express their gratitude as well. This is Rick's 14th tournament. Fourth He's a veteran. You've got to put him on that list before. He'll be right behind Petraglia by the time it's all over. Leto comes back with an X. I fully expect him, Leto, to 
right back and throw this ball right back in the one three pocket where he left the washout one frame ago. Trying to pick up the pace a little bit on the television pair. 237 under the lights is like 260 though, right, Mike? Sometimes. Sometimes it's not enough, Dan. Trouble, trouble, trouble on the adjustment. Amleto through the nose. <laughs> Lizzie looks up at the score immediately. It says, oh, he, he is human after all. If he makes this, he'll bring down the house now. Monticelli with an open. And it comes at a bad time. And he'd been getting that ball out to about eight and a half during the week or during the night. You see, it didn't get out as far. And the result, 4-6. Speed was about the same. Lizzie leads by a dozen. Would like to get back into the strike zone here in the fifth frame. Oh, Major League came in the break of the year. And Bruno looks on and says, that's my boy. <laughs> Jersey squasher here as it goes oh. a little left there. They just all kind of collapse to the right. My dad used to call that a snow shovel Brooklyn. Whew. What a turnaround. A split for Amleto and the break of a lifetime for Jeff Lizzie. Well, he wants to take advantage of it right now. Put himself up by 34 with a double. Aggressive shot over the thumb hole. Light hit. Lizzie carries. And now Amleto is really in a bind. Amazing how it goes. You would think Emmett Little, twice player of the year, 230, 230, wired in on this pair, would have a tremendous advantage over this young man making his first appearance. Down 34 pins with four and a half frames to go. Supposed to show you how talented they are out here on the PBA Tour. How unafraid they are. Leto needs to get something going, and now back-to-back -back problems. You could see him forcing that shot all the way. It's it's like if adrenaline were fluid, that it's all been pouring out of his body right here. To make this, he wants to come in around behind the three pin and drive the three over into the four seven. Actually hook the ball into it. It's got a shot. Ooh. Three out of four. Nearly a miracle for Amleto Monticelli, the player of the year. Oh, it's slipping away. It's slipping away. So the boat may come down between McDowell and Ferraro after all. As we see, his valiant effort just didn't quite hit it thin enough. Have you ever remembered a race with as many players with a chance to win going into the last week? No. We can see that Lizzie uh, was in first place a good portion of this tournament. And let him near the top all the way through. And light on the left-hand lane. Of course, this is the final stop on the PBA Fall Tour, the final event in 1992. We have so many people to thank. The Professional Bowlers Association, first and foremost, our television coordinator, Chuck Pisano, PBA Hall of Famer, National Tournament Director, Johnny Campos, Promotions Director, Media Man, uh, Kevin Shippey, who does such an outstanding job providing us with the information, Dave Ward, Bobby Dinkins, the whole crew, guys. Couldn't do it without all of you, and uh, we thank you for all your efforts and look forward to working again with you in 1993. Well, he's got that going for him, doesn't he? Mm. When was the last time that happened? I think this could be a first. Nine in a row, I can't ever remember it happening. No way. What's next? It is fate, young man. Just simply sit back and enjoy the moment. I mean, to tell you, Brooklyn, Jersey Squasher, now the one pin does not hit the two, but the eight pin comes back and does hit it. I'll tell you a couple of guys that are very excited about now, aside from him, Jeff Moraz and Dick Grand, who both sponsor Jeff Lizzie. Gentlemen, keep your seats. Try and relax, although I know the blood pressure is beginning to rise. Especially when you throw shots like that one. Whew, what a performance. Oh, <laughs> don't celebrate too early, gentlemen. 
Well, that I, looks good. <laughs> I think they could just about celebrate, Denny. I'll tell you what. Oh, what a game for Jeff Lizzie. 65 prints with two and a half frames. I think even I could handle that one. Not even Emletto Monticelli could pull this one out. It'll be a second place finish for Emletto, and I love the way he responded to asking him about winning tonight in Player of the Year. And he said, Denny, if I win the Player of the Year, I'll be happy. If I don't, I'll still be happy. I'll still be happy. There's a contented young man. Came back here in the fall and just had a splendid fall. Three consecutive appearances in the championship round. But he's going to come up a little bit short. And don't forget, still a couple more telecasts on the ladies' side on ESPN. Tuesday night, 11.30 p.m. Central Time. It's the LPBT National Team Tournament. The ladies are uh, teaming up. There are 13 teams. It's never been done before. Kind of an interesting format. They chose 13 captains. Then they went out and drafted players. And they'll bowl a Baker-style format on the telecast. Five men teams or five, five, five person teams. teams? Yeah, four teams will make the show. It'll be a wild one. And it'll be fun. I'll enjoy that. Interesting to say the least, if you were a betting man and Emleto had just come off averaging 237 and he was going to take on a player who'd never even appeared in the championship round, where would your money have been? Oh, I know where mine would have been. <laughs> right about now it'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> be in Jeff Lizzie's pocket. That's what makes it so great out here. You never really know. And if you ask Jeff, he'll probably admit, you know, I, I didn't bowl the greatest game in the world. I got a few breaks and I took advantage of it. Well, he bowled great on one lane. You know, the right lane, he was not sure of from the get-go. He made one real good shot. And, uh, cross lane at the six. No problem. And a wide shot of Brunswick Deer Park lanes. And don't forget, Mike Durbin, I know you'll be watching Tuesday, November 17th from 2 to 9 p.m. It's the Major League Baseball Expansion Draft. Can't wait there. Oh! All three rounds. Please, please, guys, don't take too many of my Cleveland Indians. Congratulatory handshake from Amleto Monticelli, Jeff Lizzie. He looks like he's a bit stunned, to be quite honest with you. This is a trip to the Firestone Tournament of Champions. It's $39,000. It's a beautiful Bayliner boat. And it's a clean game, too. I mean, <laughs> good point, Michael. <laughs> and it's also, there's so much tradition in this tournament. It's, it's been a great, great event through the years. So many great PBA champions have, have won this tournament, so, dating all the way back to the first one. Don Johnson battled Johnny Petraglia for the title. You know, back there, a lot of people don't remember Don Johnson, I think, beat Larry Love. And in the 10th frame, he had to pick up the 6, 7, 10 and strike in order to tie Love, and he did that. Ah, the twins. I wonder if they'll share that 39,000. Well, maybe not. We'll be back to talk to our newest champion when we return. And there's our winner, Jeff Lizzie. Oh, my. Final score, a big victory for you. And uh, we'll move on now to the presentation. Fred Flagenic has a uh, gorgeous trophy to present to you. Jeff, on behalf of Brunswick, congratulations. Thank Beautiful you. imported trophy here for our Brunswick Memorial World Opens. Thank you, Fred. All right, Arnold Fogel, the uh, president of BRC, has, uh, oh, $39,000 to give away. Yeah, I got a beautiful check there, uh, Jeff. Congratulations uh, to you from all of us at Brunswick. I know this is your first TV appearance. We look forward to seeing you here lots of times. Thank you. Good luck. And, and, and incidentally, in addition to the $39,000, there's a $8,000 boat that goes along with this, too. No so it sounds like you have a good time, okay? All right, we'll come back and talk to Jeff Lizzie about the trophy, the check, and the Bayliner boat when we come back. All right, 15 seconds. What's it feel like to win your first title? It feels incredible. Thanks, Brunswick. Thanks, thanks for the whole crowd. Um, Deer Park Lanes did a great job this week, treated us like professionals, which is awesome, and this is the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>